Hello, this is Julie. Welcome to the Thrifty Paper Garden. I am doing this video in response to Aunt Bernie. She's having a 500 subby giveaway challenge and she wanted us to show her our scrappy paper. Now I've had some people interpret this, interpret this as all their paper scrapbook paper and some interpret it as their scraps of paper. And since the latter is much easier to show, I chose to show that. Now I keep scraps. I've been trying not to keep the tiny, tiny pieces, but some of the specialty paper I will keep very tiny pieces because I make a lot of my own letters. I know a lot of ladies buy the thickers but I make a lot of my own letters because I have, <clears throat> excuse me, many sets of die cut alphabets. So I try to use those as often as I can. So for my smaller pieces of cardstock and some pattern paper, I have it in this file by color. And so that's real easy when I just need a small pop of color on a project. I just look through here. For my larger scraps, I have this file here. And again, sorted by color. Um, first one is sh kind of shimmery paper. The next is more like um, specialty vellums. And then <clears throat> the different, <clears throat> excuse me, the different colors. Now this is representative of some more of my pattern pieces of paper that are scrap. I'll have the paper pad and when I'm done with the project I take the scraps and I put it in a Ziploc bag and then I just put this in the pad of paper and then I store oftentimes store especially my 12 by 12s I store the packs of paper in iris containers and so that um, Ziploc bag just neatly stays with the pad of paper. So if I just need a little piece, I or I'm making a card and I just need a little piece that coordinates from the paper pad, I have that all ready to go. So this is not all my scraps of paper, but it is a good representation of my scraps of paper. When I'm in the middle of a project, I have many scraps of paper on my desk. And after a project's over, I once heard someone talk about taking those scraps, pieces of paper, and just making a bunch of tags, greeting cards, and different things while you have coordinating pieces of paper out on your desk. So, Bernadette, this is a representation, and I hope it meets your challenge. So thanks so much for stopping by. We'll talk to you later. Bye.